second part of my novel Hans Christian Andersen returns in the year 2129 and this is read by the author It was intolerable for me to watch them sit there, dressed in their best clothes, with these superior expressions on their mouths. We always buy the most recent clothing we can afford to buy, and we also know what people appreciate most. Not to do that is scandalous, Miss Alive appeared suddenly heated, as if she considered what she said. What, what is a pity, to go in the wrong clothes, to do as one like? It is criminal and it must be punished. In closing them down in cages, trying to make fool of them in front of all people, I asked, completely and utterly full of indignation on behalf of these innocent people and to further test the girl's moral standard, I continued, Well, haven't you heard of the Jews? Does none of you remember these direct attacks, this diabolical and systematic eradication of a defenseless people, and the Arabs, the Palestinians? Don't you know how badly the Western world has behaved towards this proud culture, and Africa, the third world countries which are being starved behind tariff barriers, history is filled with examples of fundamental human rights violations, the denial of the individual's right to freedom. Yes, we could go on. Imperialism, Western wealth, built on colonialism and exploitation of slaves and today's utilization of modern slaves called low-paid workers to the industry. What is it for a view of human beings? That kind of vision on man, how can we allow that? We don't know anything about it, whistled the one girl's voice. She had apparently been asleep during school. She said, in addition, they were having differing beliefs, thinking otherwise than the majority, both the Jews as now the Arabs. Do you actually know the concept of democracy?